Good evening, Andrew. This is the third time that Penn Trafford and Pine Richland have met in the semifinals in the last seven seasons. Penn Trafford won in 2015. Last year, Pine Richland won in a lopsided game on their way to the state championship. But boy, a lot has changed since that state championship was won. Most notable, their coach, Eric Kasparovich, was fired in a controversial move. Steve Campos wasn't hired to replace him until June but after a slow start, he's led them to wins in seven of their last eight games, and he knows what his guys should expect from Penn Trafford tonight. If you watch them, they, they remind me of Moon. Uh, I got the chance to see Moon a few times, but, you know, they just stay in that wildcat. They, uh, you know, quarterback's a good runner, five's a good runner, and they got some big uh, beef up front. And uh, it's just going to be one of those games that, uh, you know, we got to stop the run, and, uh, and they're going to have to stop the run in the pass. So. Um, and they can pass when they want to. Uh, they, they don't throw the ball deep too, very often, but, uh, you know, they throw, they throw it to sticks. And, Andrew, you mentioned neutral site, all games at neutral sites this weekend. But for Penn Trafford coach John Ruain, Anna Marino Stadium is anything but. He's a teacher here at Gateway, and back in the day he played quarterback for the Gators. The winner of this game tonight will play the winner of the Moon and Penn Hills game. From Anna Marino Stadium in Monroeville, I'm Guy Junker for Operation Football.